<laughs> and he's fishing. Hey everyone, it's Andy here. I'm deep in the jungle again. It's been a long time since I've been in the jungle and I really miss it. It's been uh, yeah, probably eight, nine months. I've got the, uh, the backpack with the tent, sorry not the tent, the hammock, sleeping bag, ground mat. And I'm going to see if I can stay overnight, catch a few fish and uh, yeah, walk back out again tomorrow morning. A lot of jacks in here at the moment. Very clear water. Oh, this is coming here. Big gudgeon maybe. Oh, big gudgeon, come on. Oh, he got it. <laughs> Oh, that's a big gudgeon. That is a cool fish. Look at this thing. Oh, hold it up. Beautiful. Oh, and he just dropped off. Bugger. Oh, we got to see him. Oh. <laughs> oh, that has got some pork. Oh, I don't know, Jack or Barrett. Oh, he's taking me over the other side. Oh, oh that's a good fish. Oh, it's a bit of weight in it too. Come on, let's see ya. I'm gonna say, yeah, it looks like a Jack, I think. Bit of bread, yep, nice mangrove jack. Beautiful. Oh, you're in the weed. There he is. Nice fish. Look at that. Okay, let's um, try and lift you up. Ooh, don't break my rod. Oh, beautiful. Look at the size of that. Oh, he's got to be, let's see, 45 and a, yeah, maybe a bit over 45. Okay. Let's see fish go. So before I lose this lure, I'll show you um, what it is. It's an Ekoda jerkbait in gold, size 65. So thanks to Ekoda, they um, hooked me up with a few of these, these little jerkbaits and a few other things. And while I'm at it, the, the, the rod I'm using is Samaki Zing, 4 to 10 pound, 5 foot 4 spin rod. And the Ekoda Blackhawk 2, 2000 model. Very nice little reel. And um, yeah, I've got... Um, Samaki 20 pound braid on there as well. So walking from water hole to water hole. I'm just really paying attention to make sure there's no snakes or crocodiles in here. This is getting a bit boggy. Oh, it's very wet. And something over there. It's all pretty shallow, so I'm not too worried, but there are crocodiles in here. I have seen them. something there. What have we got? Brim maybe? Yep, brim. Got him! <laughs> oh, nice. Right up in the fresh water. How cool is that? Silver brim, I think. Let's get him in. Oh, he's a good size too. Decent sized brim for a little freshwater creek. 
Let's see if we can comfortably lift him. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. And they definitely, definitely like that lure. Okay. Looks like he's got a little bit of an injury here. Something's um, had a go at him at some stage. swim off. Don't splash the camera too much. Just hold him up right for a second and he'll be right to go. There he goes. Beautiful. So it's getting on in the afternoon and I'm going to put on a uh, Saku Snoop Dog. Let's see how big he is. He's a 70 mil. And uh, yeah, as the, as the sun sets, the, uh, the fish will come up to the surface more. And as you can see, it's a yeah, really nice spot. I really quite enjoy just sitting here looking at the scenery while I tie on another lure. Maybe have a look, see if there's a, a fish cruising around and then try and catch him. <laughs> That's got to be a big barret. Oh, he's got me in there. Oh. Like the fourth cast with that Snoop Dogg lure. Oh, he's taking me in there. Oh, oh, I don't think I'll be getting that one back. Oh, yeah. come on, come out, come back, come back. Oh, come on, pull out, pull out. Oh, now he's jammed in there. Oh, oh, still in there. Come on. All right, let's try and go and get him. It's um, it's a long way to go. Oh, hang on, he's coming. No. Oh, he's just, just nodding me up worse and worse. So it definitely feels like the oh, biggest fish I've hooked today. I'm just going to just keep a little bit of tension on. But we'll just walk all the way around there. And as we're walking around, there's a mangrove jack just swam off there, big one. This could be a big mangrove jack too, but it's definitely the biggest fish. Oh, it's getting deep. Oh, that's deep. Oh, it's definitely the biggest fish I've hooked today. Okay, it doesn't look... Oh, he's still going. He's definitely still there. Yep, he's still pulling. And it's not quite as deep as I thought, although that... I can't see the bottom there, so... I'm not really excited about that. Hmm. Let's see if we can get in here somewhere. Oh, I'm on tippy toes. Everything's just too deep. Oh, oh you can hear me coming, I think. Oh, that's a big jack. I just saw him. I'm just going to put the rod in the tree here somehow. How's this going to work? Stay there, rod. I can see the line wrapped around the tree here. It's going to be a miracle if I can get him. Oh, there's, there's the fish. He's um, underneath that log. He's got the lure in his mouth and he's just jammed up. Oh, he's a big fish too. He's got the line with the fish on it. And he's around. Oh, he's under that. Okay, I can get him. I can get him. All I have to do is pass the rod under that tree and hope he doesn't take off while I'm doing it. Oh, there we go, rod's under. All right, fish is free. Oh, that's good. I didn't, really didn't want to lose that, that Snoop Dogg on the first fish. That is a good sized mangrove jack. Come here fish. Come on, I'm just going to let you go. Don't go back in there, no. He's back in his home. <sighs> Look at that for a fish. Wow. Look at that. Nice. Um, just under 50. Maybe 49. But look at that, that's beautiful. Oh, and look at this. That hook is only just in by the smidgen of smidgens. But that's the first time I've used that Saku. 
and fourth cast I think. Look at look at that. That is just wild. Alright, let's let him go. Hey. There he is. Beautiful. Oh, that's what it's all about. <laughs> so that's where I started. Went all the way around here, through the water, and right here. Oh, almost fell in the water then. So that was worth it. And I, I know people are going to ask, why, why didn't you keep that fish? I like mangrove jack to live. So I'm going to try and catch something else for dinner. But there's still plenty of daylight, and I really want to get some surface action on that saku. Hopefully I can get a strike much closer to the camera than that jack. But yeah, very nice fish. So I deliberately don't show everybody where these spots are because they're special and if um, everybody came here it wouldn't be special anymore oh, mind you they're pretty hard to get to as well oh. I think I'll set up the hammock now and um, yeah, continue fishing a bit before it gets dark see if we can get something for dinner I also want to use the Yakoda live shrimp. Um, I was given a few of those as well, so in a couple of different sizes. And uh, I've used uh, the sort of live shrimp lures before, and I think they'll do really well in here. Check out this barramundi here. Got him. Oh, we had it. So this is a perfect time. I'm going to change to the um, Ecota live shrimp in a green. Because that little bar is still sitting there. He's waiting for some food. And he's hit the, um, the surface, I think, three times now. He's kind of gone off that. So I'll put this little shrimp on. See if we can tempt him on this. Got here. <laughs> Had to get him. He was just hanging around so long. Oh, a little shrimp did it. Oh, he's going for the weed. Here we go, he's out. Oh, and I dropped him. Bugger. I've been trying a whole bunch of different lures, but they're hitting them and not getting stuck, or they're sort of refusing them, so I'm going to try something that looks really natural. And this, um, yeah, great little lure. You can actually see the mechanism in there. When you cast this, the ball bearings go back, and then come forward and still rattle. So yeah, that's, um, that's really cool. But yeah, Oh yes, got him. Tarpon. Nice. That could be my lunch slash dinner. Oh, Jack's following it. I've never eaten a tarpon before. So this will be interesting. I'm going to cook him up on the fire shortly. Hopefully I can get him in. Oh, Jack just tried to eat that lure. <laughs> oh, okay, let's get Mr. Tarpon in before I drop him. There we go. Ah, oh, yep, that's going to be my lunch slash dinner. Well, this looks like a good spot for lunch. Just have a little fire here. There we go, we've got a nice bed of coals, and all I'm going to do is throw Mr. Tarpon 
on the fire. There we go. And uh, I'll probably just yeah, I'll cover him up with a couple of coals. That way he'll cook both sides at the same time. Now, I'm going to try and taste all different fish, and tarpon is one people have suggested. And I've never eaten tarpon before, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see what it tastes like. It should be done in about oh, eight, ten minutes. There we go. That looks looks pretty cooked to me. Let's see if we can lift him out just with a stick. Oh, his face just fell off. Oh, let's roll him out. Looks done to me. Let's try some of this fish. Notoriously these things are supposed to have a lot of bones and actually that looks like a lot of bones in there. Look at that. That's just incredible. The number of bones that thing's got. This might be the last one I ever eat. Alright, let's try that. It smells like fish. Which you'd think. Still quite hot. Hmm. Doesn't taste too bad. You can see a bone in there. Hmm. It's not too bad at all. As long as you yeah work around the bones, I guess. Well, I'm gonna eat that, and then I'm gonna keep fishing for a while. Hmm. It's not too bad at all. Big hit. Come on. Small hit. Oh, little jack. Oh, some big jacks there. Oh, yep, that's a nice one. Oh, and I've got a problem here. I have a real problem. That might work. There you go. That's not a bad jack at all. First the tarpon hit it, then the little jacks, and then the big jack came in. We'll grab that. Come on, Jack. Where are you? Look at that. That's a nice Jack. And I've upsized to the, I think it's an 85 mil jerk bait. Oh, there you go. He's off. Oh, it's getting pretty late. Let's go find camp. I'm sure camp is around here somewhere. It can get pretty hard to find when you just got a torch. Oh. Somewhere around here. The head torch is fading a bit, but oh, there we go. We made it in the nick of time. Home sweet home. I'm in my hammock and I'm going to sleep. Good night, everybody. You can hear the birds outside, there's a little bit of light out there. I think it's time to get up. Oh. I'd show you around the place, but yeah, it's a bit hard to see much. There you go. You can see a little bit, just enough room to keep the mosquitoes out and have a reasonable night's sleep. It wasn't too bad, actually. Let's get up and at them. I don't know if you heard that, but I just singed the top of my hair. <laughs> Got a little bit too close to the fire when I was um, yeah, trying to get it started. So I'm just cooking up a um, yeah, pot, of, pot of tea, Bengal spice it is. 
and um, we'll fish on the way out. It's a good hike to go out, but um, yeah, I reckon I'll use either surface or um, Yakota prawn, the live shrimp. So while the going's a little bit easier, the plan for today is to walk out and while I'm doing that, catch a few more fish. I still want to get some uh, really cool slow motion footage on my new camera that I got not that long ago. Um, so here, we'll give, give that a shot. Got him. That could be a barra. I think that's a barra. Come on, little dude. Just gonna let you go. Oh, and he spat it out. There he is, right here. There he goes. Oh, yes. What have we got? Maybe a jack again? Yep, another jack. Come on, Mr. Jack. There we go. It's getting quite dark, but yep, I still still want to eat the lure. Oh, yep. Ooh. Oh, I think it's a tarpon. Could be a barrel, but I think it's a tarpon. Let's get him in. There we go. Nice little tarpon. Uh, let you go, hey buddy. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you want to watch more videos straight away, click way up there. Otherwise, if you want to uh, see my videos as they're uploaded, click the subscribe button, you get notified straight away. And anyone who wants to help me make bigger and better videos, I've got PayPal and Patreon. So pay PayPal is really good for um, just one-off donations, but you can do monthly as well. And some people may not, may not want to use PayPal, you can do Patreon. So yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully more to come very soon.